cropping and straightening. Well, there are many reasons you might want to crop a photo. Could be there's something distracting near the edge that you don't want. You may just want to improve the composition by changing the angle or the position of the horizon. Or you may need a photo to be a particular aspect ratio because you need a print of a certain size to fit in a frame. We can do all this using the crop tool. Now you can access the crop tool either by pressing R on the keyboard or clicking the crop overlay tool icon in the toolbar. Now that opens the crop and straighten panel. Now to start by cropping a photo, I'll just come in and I can click and drag on any of these edges. Or I can drag on the corners. And you can see that the crop bounding box gets smaller and larger, but in the same proportions as the height and width of the original photo. If I want to change the aspect ratio, I have to come back to the crop panel and click to unlock this little padlock. And now it'll let me drag the corner and do non-standard crops with the sides or the corners. I can also change from the horizontal crop to the vertical crop by pressing the X key. And this gives me a different perspective. I'll press the X key to bring it back again. Now if you look outside the crop area, you'll see that it's a little dimmer than the inside. And this is to help you judge the composition inside the bounding box. Now sometimes you might need the crop bounding box to be a specific ratio. So if I go to this menu on the left of the little padlock, I get some presets. I could have a 1 to 1 which is a square ratio. Or I could have an 8 by 10 or a 4 by 5. Or I could go for let's say a 6 by 4 or a 4 by 6. If I really wanted, I had something really unusual, I can do a custom. So I can click enter custom. And let's say we need a 6 by 2. I don't know why we'd want a 6 by 2, but it's the only numbers that come to mind. And we click OK, and there we have a 6 by 2. And if I press the X key, we can make a, a, a landscape as well. So let's take it back to say an 8 by 10. I'll drag it out a little bit. And drag inside the crop to reposition it. And then double click to perform the crop. Now let's go to another image. And we'll look at straightening. You can see here we've got a little bit of an issue that this, this horizon is a little bit wonky. Now I'll go back to the crop tool by either pressing R on the keyboard or clicking the crop tool. You can see here we've got an overlay, like a rule of thirds. And this is to help us with our composition. Now if I press the O key, I can cycle through a few different... I've got the Fibonacci spiral there, and we've got some preset crops as well. And then we've got the grid. And if we wanted to do this manually, we could come outside, and we could just rotate until we line up with one of those grids. But I don't want to do this this time, because what I want to show you is the straighten tool. And here it is, so I'm going to go back in, and I'm going to click on that angle, bring it in. I'm going to click and drag along a line that you think should be horizontal, and let go. And there we've got the crop. Now I can still use the crop tool to recrop inside this, but I can't make it any bigger than the original image itself. Now these overlays, if they get in your face and you want to switch them off, if you come down here to where it says Tool Overlay, you've got some choices. You can set it to Always, you can set it to Never, so they're never on at all, or you can choose Auto, and that means it only appears when you move over the image. Okay, so I'll accept that crop has been done, and that's nice and straight, that horizon. So that's the brief look at the ins and outs of the crop and straighten tool in Lightroom.